Welcome to the Mainframe Connector demo from Google Cloud's Mainframe Modernization Team. What is Mainframe Connector? Mainframe Connector is our solution to help customers export data from the mainframe, upload it to a GCS bucket, and then import it to BigQuery. It basically enables you to transfer data from the mainframe to GCP. It does this by using copybook definitions in the mainframe to map COBOL data types to BigQuery compatible types. Why would you want to use the mainframe connector? Mainframe development is expensive. It's also very complex. By using this tool, you can transfer your data from the mainframe to BigQuery. This gives you the ability to use the plethora of GCP services with your data, including cloud native services, AI ML workloads, and more. All this while significantly reducing operational and storage costs. How does it work? Mainframe connector is built on top of the JVM. This means you can use it in native JCL scripts. When you use the JCL to submit the job, it will execute the mainframe connector, optionally transcode the original data, properly converting the mainframe native types to an ORC file, and upload it to Google Cloud Storage. You can then use the mainframe connector to load that data directly to BigQuery. So the entire pipeline can be managed from ZOS, which is fantastic. Now, let me take you through a quick demo. So this is the mainframe. MFC data input is the input file, which we will transfer to GCP, GCS, and then to BigQuery. Let me quickly show you the content of the file. The input file contains orders. There are columns for the order ID, order product name, product ID, and quantity. This is the copy book. As you can see, it describes the file layout. The first five characters are order ID, then customer ID, product ID, product name, and finally quantity. This is the JCL script that we will run to load data from the mainframe to GCS and then to BigQuery. The first step, as you can see, executes a BQSH proc, which in turn invokes the mainframe connector Java application which transcodes and transfers the data. It takes two inputs. In file, which is the input file that will be transferred to GCP, and a copy book describing how to interpret the data, which I just showed you. You can specify the bucket on GCP where the generated ORC file will be uploaded to. You can also specify a more specific location within the bucket. Here I have chosen order details as the prefix. Once this step runs, the mainframe connector will transcode the dataset to ORC format and place it in the bucket. Later in the step of the JCL script, which again takes the bucket name as the input, we run the BQ load command. It takes a project ID, which I set here. Additionally, we need to specify the BigQuery data set name and table name where you want to load the data. This is the PROC BQSH where you can define environment variables. There are many environment variables that can be used to configure the mainframe connector. For example, the location of the mainframe connector jar file the Java path, and other configurations that are not specific to a single invocation. I will quickly submit the job. As you can see, the job has run. It has taken the configurations from the environment. For example, where the key file is stored. It has executed the first step you can see it invoked the PROC BQSH. This is the GCS prefix we defined earlier, and this is where the ORC files will be stored. This is the key file. This is the copy book, which it used to interpret the data and create the equivalent data types in BigQuery. The record format, the record length, block size. It also shows you the layout. 
Finally, it has created the ORC file and uploaded it to GCS. Let us now quickly verify that the data has been uploaded. This is the bucket that we defined in the job. As you can see, the data is where we wanted it to be. And you can see that our order details ORC has successfully uploaded to GCS. Let us quickly verify that the data was loaded to BigQuery. We named the data set mainframe connector and named the table order details. Let's run a query. As you can see, all the data from the mainframe is loaded to BigQuery. You can now use the full power of GCP to explore and process the data. As an example, let's explore the data with Looker Studio. And there you go. Looker Studio has already created two charts for us with the order ID, the quantity, the product ID, and the quantity graph. There are no limits to what you can now do with your data. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the demo.